Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifier. I've been using an MFC3 for over one month. When working through similar themed content, I like to buffer the videos and space them out a little bit, especially if they're hardware based. I'm saying this only to tell you to consider this video as more of a longer term review, which is great news for you. I've actually been using it as an office chair and obviously for its actual intended purpose as an alternative to owning a complete sim rig. This is a great middle of the road alternative to both desk mounts and a full sim pit. And the MFC1 Blackbird that I've reviewed in the past has been used daily since then without any issues. So again, good news, but you would expect that for the price, right? The MFC3 shares many components with the MFC1 with some evolution in the parts and it's covered in Cordura, which is a super durable fabric designed by DuPont for use on military seats for over 70 years. It's the real deal. I've had a car sim in my basement for several years, but when people heard that I had a helicopter in my basement, people were calling up very eager to spend hours flying it in DCS. This is also a great time to mention that Monster Tech is hosting a giveaway for the newer version of this chair. Info is at the end of the video and in the description. Let's begin with the video. There's actually an interesting backstory as to how we got to a situation where Monster Tech would go from making mounting solutions that attach controllers to desks and chairs to then also create a custom chair uniquely designed for us sim enthusiasts in mind. I very much understand what led to this approach. You can spend years perfecting something and then you flip the problem on its side one day and approach it from another angle. Rather than trying to make products work better with chairs, why not design a chair perfect for sim? Ensuring the quickest production and development turnaround, Monster Tech partnered with a local producer in Germany. They changed the specifications of an already established existing product, resulting in something just for us sim enthusiasts. They now also offer custom embroidery and choices in material on special requests. Physically, it's like any other chair, but special care was invested in the unique shape of the backrest and base. It needs to cater to airplane, jet, chopper, car, boat, space sim and they still need to be backwards compatible with our desk mounts, chair mounts, and sim pit parts. As I've said in the past, car racing seats seem to be the design start for many chairs, but with their big side bolsters, they work very well only with a driving position with arms forward onto a wheel. When seated flying with grips and controllers at your lower sides, that shape of a racing seat actually prevents proper arm placement, which impedes comfort. So we still don't want side bolsters unless you plan to drive only. And even then, those can still be seen as a compromise. So instead a chair was designed to have similar support with contoured back and support on the sides, but without the harsh bolsters. It's natural that this chair in the future would also need to be made to work with a rail system for sim pits and good news, that's beyond prototype and also near release. So I hope to test that out for you on MTX in the near future. The chair needs to have a cutout, full stop. And that was the most requested option. This is one of the best features and good luck finding that on any other chair elsewhere. For us sim pilots, this provides us with the clearance and position to put the controller exactly where it would be in the actual aircraft, exactly where it needs to be comfortable. Years and years are spent refining this location through generations of actual aircraft design. It's optimal in a real plane and it then makes sense that it would also result in comfort, range of motion and a better simulation experience. When flying anything that requires very precise modulation, being able to support your control forearm on your leg allows for that fine control, as I found out testing the Sublight Dynamics 6 Degree of Freedom controller prototype. When not in use, Monster Tech does offer a cutout filler that quickly bolts up from below using mounting locations that are included in the design. The feature list continues with standard ones such as piston height, adjustable armrests, and the ability to recline. There are some more unique ones as well. You can move the chair base further from or closer to the backrest. You can actually tilt the chair base forward and backwards with a hand crank. You can lift or lower the entire backrest just by pulling up on it. So the point is, regardless of your body shape, you can get a custom feel. So we have back support geometry, adjustments, a cutout for center mount, but the list continues with more custom features. The underside of the hardwood base is pre-drilled and reinforced with metal to accept left, right and middle mounts. And as I said before, the lower side also has a pair of holes to attach the whole delete pad, which removes the cutout when not needed. The left and right mounts are newly designed 8mm stainless steel plates, adjustable and they bolt directly to the chair without any drama. These support the entire range of mounting options to include gimbals, grips, collectives, throttles, panels and MFDs. They support the quick release mounts and also operate with the armrests, which can be removed if that's your preference. 
I've tested my wide range of controllers and as expected, any weight or configuration will remain in place where you put it. The center mount is also fully updated to be simple and quicker to use. This new blacked out mount bolts directly to the chair, but now includes a redesign that simply clicks in from the top. Once in place, I twisted the two thumb bolts and it was locked down in seconds. This facilitates getting in and out of the chair and it's easily removable. All of these quick release mounts allow me to convert it from an office chair and set up for flying in a minute. It also takes no time to return the chair for office use, which is important because if it's not easy to switch over, you won't. It's as simple as that. I had no trouble getting a quick 30 minute flight in after work before dinner. Planes and choppers have pedals and chairs have wheels, which is a unique problem. Chair casters, rotational pistons, and pedals never work well together. It reduces precision, it applies additional frustration, and spoils the experience. The final trick being offered here on this new chair are five wheel locks and a lock on the gas piston. The piston lock is a brand new option and prevents all rotation, which is where this goes from being just a chair to being a true sim pit alternative. Not everyone has the budget for a sim pit, and this option does not rely on chair mount V2 as the base replaces it. So it seems like the best of both worlds as it focuses on being a perfect sim chair but also switches over to a perfect office chair in seconds. It's comfortable and when it was configured to suit me, I found it to be a superior experience. Whether you're casual or hardcore, the controllers can be put where you want them or exactly where they need to be to represent reality. And that brings us to the end. I love mine and I know it's ready for use for hours in DCS. I know it's modular for any future situation where I might like to try something else, and I feel that that's all I want to say about this product. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed the rundown. Please subscribe so I can help keep you up to date, and please take a look at some other videos on the channel. There's a Monster Tech promo code in the description and a link to their Discord where there's currently a contest to win the as of yet unreleased MFC4 with a full set of mounting hardware. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.